which takes me into my next um, point I want to talk about, um, posture. We had a great chat and I've heard you talk about it a lot, about, about the guy's posture, but also in other sports. And I heard you explain about swimmers on the side of a pool, how um, being tall and trying to sort of um, peacock and parade around and look like an athlete actually <laughs> isn't that great for uh, breathing. Can you for talk breathing. a little bit yeah, about yeah. that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, so again, if you kind of come back to that water bottle analogy, right, that I was saying before, is if you're already, uh, you know, already at the, yeah, breathing up here before you do anything, you've you've got nowhere to go. Like you've really shortened your ability to to you know, this is called your exercise reserve capacity, meant to be reserved for exercise, not used sitting in a chair having conversation, right? Certainly not used pool deck certainly shouldn't be being used sitting on the bench waiting to run onto the field for example right um so with posture what you often see is you see this like you know chest out you know um big shoulders all this breathing kind of up here and often what we see and i used to think it was a female athlete thing having come from a lycra sport myself where there's a lot of pressure of course you know gymnastics is a body image sport there's a lot of pressure to when when you're out there in lycra to hold your tummy in <laughs> you know you got to yeah. cut, kind of got your your core locked on because you don't want to look at like you got a gut you know think about what's happened with rugby jerseys over the years they've changed yeah. from these big baggy you know you can hide anything in that to like these slim fitting like they're almost like lycra right even Constantly. just at the, the gym for general public walking around trying to you know intimidate uh, them. yeah exactly it's amazing the same. right and mm. so it's amazing how people kind of like want to you know suck in their stomach just to hold in their gut and it almost gets especially in contact sports right where you're bracing for impact a lot of the time yeah. you get quite used to having your core locked on all the time now when your core is locked on around your lower part of your rib cage if you try it now if you try and if you put your hands on your lower rib cage and your listeners at home can, can actually do this as they do it but if you put your hands on your lower rib cage and you just try to breathe normally through your nose and feel that air come down into the bottom part of your lungs you should be able to feel that move a little bit okay yep, so that's I'm kind of op optimal diaphragmatic breathing down down there okay now if you then tighten your abdominals like as hard as you can like brace them and keep yep. them braced and try to get that same movement you can't do it right yeah that's right yeah so, so your brain has to make a decision. Do you want me to have my core locked on or do you want me to breathe into my belly? But I can't do both at once because it's opposite things. And so it's part of almost this um, human hard coding, right? Is that whenever we feel like we're under threat or pressure we like to make ourselves look bigger and you look at what happens to any mammal in nature you know comes up on its back feet it kind of you know puffs up its chest it wants to look intimidating and threatening um and and humans are no different and particularly when you've got a sport where you've got a whole lot of alpha males kind of you know around and, and swimming is a classic as well as football right is that you see this kind of upper chest you know this big breathing and all of this sort of stuff happening and it actually means that you're already like heart rates up and, and breathing's hard and fast before you actually get into to game time or, or go time for for our swimmers um and they're already you know their state everything's kind of ramped up before they actually get into the go moment what we actually want to try and do is go how do we actually keep that under control so you've got you've got that big thing to go into when you're really needing it really really, really needing to go 